Hey, ladies and gents, it's your blind dyslexic. Ow, ow, ow. After eating something real good over here at Hooters, those little Women's Day specials. Oh, it was good. It was real good. I guess it was good timing. I got to chat with Rachel. Oh, she's a doll. She's a living doll. Uh, I'll see if I can try to find a picture of her online. So, so I can at least post so you can see what she looks like. But, I mean, every single one of these dolls is the sweetest they can be. But the funniest thing is, I even told her just before I bounced here, there's a guy who's at the adjacent table. And he looked like Dennis Trainer from Acronym TV. And it was just the funniest thing I'm thinking about. Shit, don't tell me this dude that actually came to tell us uh, That's the point that I guess it was time. I didn't even know. Uh, she told me how a lot of times she goes to Hobby Lobby with her little kid. And they could only spend about 30 minutes before her little kid grew tired of the joint, so... Well, oh, that guy just nearly rearing the dog. You know what my attitude is? It was good. She was telling me about her day. I was telling her about mine. I was just to do my exercise. Well, the problem is, is I do some exercise five to six days and six years. I think <laughs> when I sit down, I want to sit down. I made certain I sent myself a email to work on a few things. One of which is the next section of the uh, sexy kitty lineup. And plus to make certain I watch my last two or three episodes of, of Arrow and then my bitch load of uh, Bones and the following. Uh, but so far it's been a good day. I've been enjoying this day off. Watch that way. Watch that way. That way. That way. That way. That way. Thank you. And I'm sick of this. She also said she saw some dude in a jacket that looked like he got into a paint battle. And she was going to call him on it. But I guess she never, guess they never did show up. They knew Rachel was going to. Beat them down. Oh. But. Let's see. Today's Wednesday. Oh, I did catch the medals last night on. I'd say Acronym TV. Dead ringer for him. Okay, I'm stopping. Wind is blowing, so I'm going to get this close to the mic, because wherever the wind is blowing, it blocks out my voice. But, Vaughn TV, remember, I know I keep pushing it every time I come on here, but it is, it's a good station. Good music. I keep meaning to one of those little things. Let's get busy doing other stuff. That way. Thank you. One, two, three. Switch. 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 Thank you. Uh, I keep wanting to do that. Just get on there and yak. But, uh, uh Matrix Lord 212 said, Yeah. 
podcast. And I found the latest issue, and uh, so the latest episode, I'll, I'll put a link down below. Hey, when the wind starts blowing, the wind starts blowing, I've got to bring my mic up to this far, otherwise it's going to, otherwise it's going to block me, uh, pretty much block me out. But I'll leave a link down below. I'll just go for just a few seconds. Okay, folks and fans, I'm back. Oh, I just want to get out of the wind because it always seems to zone out my black my voice out. But anyway, like I said, um, I'll leave a link down below for the latest podcast with Matrix Lord Two One Two and the others. But they were chatting away, and I left my comments down below. Uh, you think I'd go without talking about Doctor Who for once? Come on. Uh, oh, it feels so good to have this hair trimmed. I think they could have gone... Yeah, I think they... Anyway. Ah, uh, but they were chatting with a few others, and it's like, uh, not Russell T, but, uh, Moffat doesn't want to bring in any of the past... Uh, creatures. Uh, he wants to like keep it nowadays, and just totally forget about the past. I mean, the doctor wants to forget about his past. To me, bad idea. If he doesn't want to do, I can understand as a Hoovian, as a Hoovian, I'll even say, I don't want to see the show pretty much blanketed with old uh, Doctor Who villains and monsters. I can grant it. I can see that. I don't know how that sounds, I'm sorry. But I can see that. He doesn't want to blanket it. I'm not talking about blanket it. I don't think even a lot of the old Hoovian, uh, original cast, uh, original Hoovians, they don't want that either. But just the random nod. Either, just the stuff we want. It's like the random nod for either a companion, an alien, or a villain. I've always, I sort of really wish they could have done the whole little, like, once a year, they bring in, once a year, they bring in an old enemy, an old companion, an old alien, uh, alien, correction, alien companion or villain, each year, whether it's just a glimpse of them, a cameo of them, or, or an adventure. They could have easily done... Uh, look what they did with the Waters of Mars. They talked about the Ice Warriors and that. Um, Planet of the Dead. The Doctor was... When he was talking to Malcolm, he mentioned the adventure robot. Look at uh, Snowman. The business cards. That's CI, meaning... Uh, Talking about, uh, I mean, G.I., the Great Intelligence, a nod to uh, to a couple of the Patrick Troughton episodes. That's all we're asking as Whovians, is the occasional nod to the classics. Don't blanket it. Just here. Here's, a, here's an Ice Warrior. Which is going to be in the next season, which I which I love. Uh, um, let's see, a draconian, um, the black guardian, even would even the one well black or white guardian would even be good. Uh, a companion, and even Matrix Lord even talked about. It. I forget if it was on that uh, podcast or if it was on one of his own little. Um, secondary things, but seeing how the doctor would deal with a companion, an old companion whose views had changed, and he become and they became, in a sense, evil, but a villain. That would even be great to see. But nonetheless, I'm going to work on a few things. I'll try to get them posted in time. Uh, 
There we go. And there's all my Doctor Who figures. Uh, sort of miffed. Sort of miffed. Uh, one of my figures, I found the found this little plastic piece lay a uh, little plastic piece laying on the ground, and it's like, oh, watch that be part of my Doctor Who, one of my Doctor Who figures. And I laid it down somewhere, and I can't find it. And something else happened to another one of the characters that I'm biffed about, and I can't remember what it is now. But, one moment, please. I think... I have to set up. Hang on. I'm trying to set up this There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. I think Garfield has some words of wisdom. Well, Garfield, what do you have to say before I give my farewells? Face it. You're a wimp. See? Garfield makes a comment, and we all have to listen. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe and leave your two cents. If you get a chance, please make a donation to the Heroes at Home or or Cancer Sucks, two great, great charities. One does work for our military personnel, the, one, the other for those suffering from cancer. To all our military personnel out there, thank you, keep up the great job, and stay safe. You're always in our hearts. I'm your blind dyslexic. This is pretty much my destination for right now. Whee! Here's my pretty, pretty fish with my nice, pretty, pretty hair. And there's my feet. There's a messy floor. Smoke them if you got them. Down it if it's on tap. Blind dyslexic. Ciao for now.